Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, back playing some more in Finifactory. And, uh, let's look at the puzzles here. Um, we did the terrestrial surveyor last time. Um, we're gonna be doing the javelin point defense this time. Uh, but first, um, I have a, another solution for nice chair. Good nice chair? <laughs> I haven't actually run it yet. Uh, but it uses very, very few blocks. So let's take a look at it. This is it. Now, the block score doesn't count these support blocks, or what are they called? Platform blocks. Uh, it only counts all the other blocks, basically. <laughs> the blocks that do things, instead of just hold things. Uh, so that includes these conveyors, these eviscerators, and uh, these welders. And basically what this solution does is it builds up a 3x2 uh, wide by 3 high uh, cube. Basically this as a, a filled in without the missing blocks. And then it carves out there and here. And, uh, well, it runs at max speed, but it's very slow um, <laughs> compared to my previous solution. So let's uh, run it, and I'll speed it up at after one or two have been made. You can see we're, we're making groups of three, and then they're getting pushed together. Then it's getting carved, and then it just sits there. As you can see uh, down in the bottom right, I'm only using uh, 13 blocks. Uh, the footprint is getting bigger as this uh, gets pushed closer and closer to the end. Uh, chewing up lots of cycles and not a single thing has been output yet. But once we do start outputting, um, it'll be relatively quick. It just needs a whole bunch of time fill up because uh, we are not using conveyors at you know 13 blocks that's pretty tiny I don't think that's the smallest in fact I know that there is at least a solution that can do this in 12 blocks uh, <laughs> but that gets uh, somewhat complex this was the simplest solution that I could come up with we just build up the cube, carve off that side, slide this way, carve off that side, and then just get this push forward and output, and uh, we have four output so far. Uh, there goes the fifth. I don't think this can be made any smaller. If you remove, well, if you remove this top eviscerator, the bottom one gets Caught, the, the top part doesn't get removed, so it gets caught and it's not in right shape. I don't think you can do it in with less conveyors. Um, I do know the version that uses 12 blocks has a, a big pusher piston assembly that welds sometimes and weld, doesn't weld others. And it's a bit complex. Here we go, that finishes it off. Uh, so this version, you know, no logic. There's no pushers, no sensors, so uh, it's simple that way as well. Uh, so this uses 408 cycles, so that's surprisingly average. I would say that's bad, especially considering uh, we finished it in less than half the time previously. Uh, footprint, a lot smaller, 81. Um, about f more than 50% smaller and block score it's uh, basically 13% of our previous block score uh, so that's uh, great as well so let's, uh, let's go back to the cell and uh, let's take a look at anti-javelin point defense um, now, if you recall, 
Um, <laughs> throughout this, uh, we've had messages from a woman who's attempting to escape. Uh, so maybe we'll find out what happens. Huh. This kind of looks like uh, a temple of some sort. Some pillars. Oh. Oh, what is this? Yes. Yes. It's walking. Yes. Yes. Now, time to get out of what is that? Oh no. They're here. They came back. God damn it. I'm hit. I'm spinning. I, I can't stabilize. I've got a crash. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Oh, uh, let me do one thing. Probably should have done it already. I didn't notice the last time that the music was kind of loud, so... I forgot to do that at the start this time. So this is anti-javelin defense, and it looks like a type of gun on a turret that shoots down the javelin missiles that we were making previously. Um, so we got the parts here. This is the base. That's the back of the gun, this is the barrel. And uh, if I recall correctly, they all come up at the right rate. You get three of these, three of these, and two of these. So, um, we need to build it into uh, a gun. So let's... Uh, start. I'm going to start by making the barrel. This should make the three long barrels and then carry them off. Great. Next step. Uh, we need to make the back of the gun and that should do that. And the final part is the L-shaped um, turret base, whatever you want to call it. And that's a little tricky, I think. I'm actually not quite so sure what the best way of doing that is. That's right. Yeah, that, uh... That's not 100% right, but you know, it's not that bad. Uh, do something like that. One, six. Make it a blocker. Put a sensor there. I think that will actually work. And there we go, we got the base. Alright, so we have all the parts. Uh, we just need to put it all together now. <laughs> um, which of these finishes first?
Alright, that should weld together the... That should have welded together the... Uh, barrel to the... Core of the gun? I don't know what you want to call it. Firing chamber? There we go. Okay, um, there's a few things we can do at this point. I mean, we're, we're, cl <laughs> we're close to completion. We're still got a few steps. We can put the gun together just like that and send it down this whole long way. But this is five wide and we'd be using up a pretty big footprint doing that. Now, I normally don't optimize for footprint. But, uh, optimizing this for cycles is really a pain, because a lot of it is in just the transport. Um, now, the other option would be to optimize for footprint. And what you can do is put one above the other, ship it all the way down here, and then weld them at, just as you're putting them into the goal. And I think that may be what I'm going to go for. So, um... <laughs> We'll need a lifter here, because we're going to put one above the other. There is a limit to how many of these you put out at once, that's why I had to stop there. Uh, put a lifter here as well. we'll come back to that in a... Uh, well... may not be what we want to do. I'm just uh, trying to figure out... Pushing it in from this side is easy. Um, but welding it... You know, actually welding it won't work from that side. Not quite as straightforward, but it will still work. Something like that. We'll have to get our timing right, but uh, that should uh, work overall. To make things relatively Need something like that. And how was how are these coming down here? Ooh, 
coming down the back of the gun first. Which, surprisingly, is exactly what I want. Uh, I want the back of the gun first, so I can put a rotator here. The back will hit, it'll rotate around, and then be ready to go right in there. Uh, this is the height that we want. I'm gonna stretch this out as far as it go, but that's going in the wrong direction. That's okay, as long as I don't let go, I can rotate these around, and that's the direction I want. Repeat. Uh, make sure we have the height. Oh, ha. Huh. Well, that will work. Um, maybe a little delay, but we're not really going for cycles here. One, two, three, four, five how long the, the barrel is, so we can stick a pusher there, uh, and we'll stick a sensor here, and that should have us go on our way, there we go, that's great. Now these are right on top of each other, so we have a single line heading down here. Um, the only thing I think is we'll need a basically a, a place to hold one, so it will be delayed just as much as the barrels. That's what we'll do over here too. Stop this. Um, all right, we gotta move stuff, but not too much. Just move this one over. Um, you notice we're not lined up now, but. That's intentional. So the uh, turret swivel part will be sitting right here. We'll wait for the barrel to come down and uh, get attached basically. And then we will use a conveyor on the barrel to pull it over one it will then be on this conveyor and uh, it will go that way. It will still be on this conveyor but it can't go that way because the, uh, the turret base will be hitting it. So uh, let's run this and uh, see what happens. our first parts coming down here and wow total failure <laughs> one but that was rotating the incorrect way uh, two we need to get this pushed off somehow not quite as easy as that seems. push that there it was it's l-shaped here and 
mean, we can put our sensor on the side, but it's still going to be over that. just be easier to waste a little bit of footprint. Actually, four. Yeah, we're wasting a little bit of footprint. But, uh, the, uh, hopefully still far under. average. <laughs> I'm really hoping that it works. Let's speed this up. Okay. Okay, that worked. works that's behind <laughs> the whole reason or uh, the whole plan for this was that the LPs would be there first, and it's not. Oh, there's there's two ways to fix that. We're gonna add more delay, or we can totally change this. <laughs> Delay is not blocking uh, essential components. Additionally, uh, we, the L piece for the base was being pushed totally onto there. I just want it barely touching there, basically. I want as soon as the first piece is on there to move, and it was putting both. There we go. There we go. Output, great. Okay, cycle score. A little above average. Footprints score. Really tiny. Definitely under half of average. Block score, just slightly above average. Um, well, let's see what we can do. Um, I'm not gonna, not gonna go to max. Let's, well, let's go to input rate one and then see how things go. Cause I can, I mean, that was cycle score zero. And we still did pretty good. Alright, so these don't fail. And as long as timing down here 
and it looks like the time down here is going to work out. Two, we get three. It's, it's going to work and get a million. Alright, so let's put that up to plus two. I'm really only concerned about down here. This is about the closest times, I think. Go to plus three. Plus three may not work. Yeah, plus three. Plus three doesn't work. But plus two is still pretty good. Yeah, I didn't think anything here would get all blocked up. Now we're down at a 163 cycle score. Still a little high here than my friends, but I still have a uh, much smaller footprint score. And uh, let's do something about that block score. Um, we only need... Down here are pieces too wide, so we need only uh, every other block or every other conveyor. Doesn't that work out nice there? Uh, there we go there. On the top, our uh, piece is five long, so we need a conveyor only every four, and these don't count for your block score. Uh, that's too long. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. These should be five. You'll, you'll be the four. You'll be the five. And then one, two, three, four. That works out pretty well too. All right. Let's just make sure this also works. Okay. 78 blocks. I wish I wish we could save 10 cycles here. <laughs> um, but I think that would require uh, a decent redesign of part of this. Um, I'm sure there's a much more clever way of doing this which would save us four footprint maybe. Um, <laughs> I hate when I say things like that. Um, how is that going to work? Okay, 
I did think of something just as I said that. See that working right. The sensor would have to be back one. the sensor here facing downwards. Okay, I actually think I have something. <laughs> All right, this is a little crazy, but because we have this floating piece of conduit, this is gonna fall, but it's gonna land on here and not fall any further. This is gonna fall and land on here, but it's not gonna weld to them. The sensor will power this conduit, which will power this conduit, which will power these, both of them. Ah, oh, that whole thing was being held up on that end. We need to hold this up on this end. It doesn't take any footprint, because we already have a block there. Alright, so let's watch this work. These will float up, hit the sensor, and then cause this to double extend. Or, or not. Huh. Really? I thought I had it there. If this stayed down... Um... I can think of a way for it to stay down. That's also going to increase the size by a block. Footprint by a block. Well, let's just see if that works. As crazy as that sounds, with that extending... Oh, this isn't going to work. Because as soon as one extends, it turns that off. All right, we'll just put this, I think that was it. Put it back the way it was. And uh, we'll call that, well, actually we won't call this an episode. 
because let's go back to our cell. I'll try to improve this. And uh, we have a performance review. Um, hey guys. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've been doing a good job too. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that magazine. Well, uh, ooh, more food pellets. Come on. Uh, that'll do it for this episode. Oh, they're getting in my sink. Um, we have a whole nother series of puzzles. Um, we'll get to those next time. And the time after, I'm sure there'll be quite a few more episodes. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.